New tutorials. This is ABM graphics. Yes. Um, today I just want us to do something on dripping effect. How to create that particular trending dripping effect in Photoshop. Yes, and I know a whole lot of people are wondering how they get it or how they get it done. So today, I just want to take you through on how to create that kind of dripping effect. Okay, so let us go to our Photoshop like this. And the first thing I have to do is to go and import in the image that I'm going to use. Okay, so I'll just open and then I'll come over to... Okay, let's go. YouTube tutorials, come here. Okay, so I'm just going to use this image, and this image is for me. That's my image, and that is what I'm going to use for the dripping effect. Okay, yes, so let's go into it. So, the first thing I have to do is that I want to create a background on it because this one that's transparent, so I'll just create a new layer over here and I'll bring it down and then I'll come to the adjustment layer over here then I'll click on gradient and then I'll just choose any gradient in this thing like this okay and then I'll click okay and over the style I'll make it right a radial and then I'll reverse it just like this okay yes and I'll open it and then I'll just make some changes to the this thing I'll just make some changes to it like this okay okay I think this one is okay for me so I can use something like this okay so the next thing I have to do for me I normally I'll duplicate by pressing ctrl J and then this one, I'll move it down then I'll work with this okay i'll work with this you get that so what i need to do is to transform the image down down like that okay just like this you see it yes so the next thing i have to do is to go and import in the dripping effect image and you can get a whole lot of dripping effect images uh on your distance and you can just use it without any problem you get that yes so let's just search for it dripping dripping effect dripping effect dripping effect okay 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 so let's use this one for instance this one okay we want to use this dripping effect for that okay so the next thing i have to do is to come and right click over here and rasterize the layer then i'll just come and pick a magic warp tool over here then i'll press on this and i'll press delete and to delete away and i'll pick my magnetic tool over there then i'll delete this one too okay then i'll have it like this let me zoom it out just like this okay so the next thing i have to do is that I will rotate it so that it will go on top so I'll just right click and flip vertically so to I will have it like this okay yes and the next thing I have to do is to place it on the image like this okay I'll place it on the image just like this okay so sometimes looking at this one you can see that my this thing my picture is so short in a such a way that uh, it can't I can't get it very well you see that's supposed to be somewhere like this but uh, my owner has to come over my neck okay so let, let's just do that for now so what I need to do is to just place it on then I'll just place it just like that and I'll just place it this way okay this way and I'll just place it just like that okay and the next thing I have to do over here over here I'll hold control and then I'll click so that it will select all this okay then I'll just come over here I'll select this layer and press what delete you get that and then I'll close it up then I'll have it like this you can have it like this 
so let me just add some eclipse layer to the background okay have it like that okay sorry I have it like this okay and then you see how I can have it okay you see it yes so this is just how we do the creeping effect in Photoshop so let me just give you another tutorial on this one yes so first of all let's use this one then I'll close this one and I'll close this one for now so I'll have it like this okay but what I need is that I want the image to be so long so that I can use my creeping effect on it without any problem yes what would I do so what I need to do is that I just want to extend the shade over there down so I'll just come to filter then I'll go to liquify and then when liquify comes like that I'll just move my this thing down okay you see it yes so I just need to intro to increase my this thing and then I will just use it without any problem you get that yes sometime look if I to can make the dripping but to just get the bad dripping you just have to get a dripping effect image okay so that it will look very very nice for you and then I'll just click OK. So let's just wait for it to return. Yes, so this is what I will now get. You get that. So right now, I now know that my dripping effect can even affect only here you get that or even here you see so I can now have it like this have it like that okay yes and it's going to look nice for me you get that so what I need to do is to just hold control and then I'll press on this terminal and then I'll come over here then I'll delete you get that yes so I'll close up this one and then I'll deselect and the next thing I have to do is to just come and pick a, a tool here called erase tool and then I'll just erase this part because I don't need it okay I don't need it yes and I can have something like this and then I can have it like this and then let me just have something like this over there okay yes and you can put it on your status and all that and it's going to look so amazing for you so this is how the dripping effect we do it in photoshop yes thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics have a nice day bye bye